Jungle, please open the door, baby. As you pound on the door, he so break your heart. John, please stop crying. Please open the door. After a car accident in which he suffered severe injuries and lost his wife, Jake experienced psychological distress and lingering trauma. He also experienced mood swings that resulted feeling of resentment, frustration and guilt, high level of ongoing stress and anxiety. He has completely lost hope. You use him to break the lock when you rush to him and throw the glass that he's holding. What are you doing? Let me die. I'm just bothering you. With my disabled body, I'm such a burden to you. Stop. Stop saying this. You give him a tight hug. How dare you to consider doing such a thing? You must have forgotten about me. I'm tired. You are here to comfort him. Once he calmed down, you both wave together so embrace him tightly, making him get in the bed. Sleep well. You kissed his head. He glanced up and saw you changing his shirt. She gonna leave me. He thinks, I will not leave you baby, I promise. You, you notice and kiss his forehead. Why would anyone stay with a disabled person like me? Because I'm your wife, I will not abandon you, even if I do not love you. And my responsibility to turn him to your strength. Do you get it? As I throw you in and give you a hug, you kiss it and I smile a little. You still have a strength, so do not give up my man. You picked his head and set it at tears. Examining the bills closely, I realized that this is not enough money, but I cannot use saving to pay. It's for medicine, but I need groceries too. I need to speak with my boss to get payment. I had a time. Thanks Avi, but that is not necessary. He chops the vegetable for you. You take the plate. I'm already putting pressure on you. How can I not? Let me prepare some delicious food for my cookie. You give him a little smile and he nods. After that, you feed him.